Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your local large language model. So what is large language model? It is basically the technology which powers uh, ChartGPT. So all of you must have used ChartGPT by now. And why should you run something like that locally? Uh, that's because ChartGPT does not necessarily uh, give you 100% uh, privacy. So whatever questions you ask ChatGPT, that might be stored in the server somewhere uh, of OpenAI. So that is one of the reasons why you may want to run your own uh, large language model. So I will just show you right now what uh, you will be able to run by the end of this video. So this is this terminal uh, where uh, I'm hosting my large language model and you can ask it any question or have a discussion with it. So I just said hi, it will probably just respond to me. It normally takes a few seconds uh, because it's running locally, so it's not as fast as ChatGPT yet. But let's ask it uh, some coding related question. Let's say write a Go program that creates an HTTP server. And let's see. As you could see, it created a reasonably uh, well-defined Go program, uh, which creates an HTTP server. So it can do certain tasks, which would be of the similar level as ChatGPT, but of course it will not be as powerful as ChatGPT. So now I will show you how to actually uh, do it uh, for in your local computer. So the steps I follow are written down in this uh, blog post. So there are essentially like two things in this case. So one is, the model uh, file itself. So this is in the form of GGUF uh, extension. So what a large language model eventually is, it's a set of weights. So it's essentially a neural network which has a lot of weights and when you give it some input, these weights are triggered in certain way to generate your desired output. And those set of weights or that model itself, those are generated after training a particular uh, architecture and then train the training might happen across like uh, lots of terabytes of data and then there is this concept of fine tuning which is done usually and after that we usually get uh, the model the large language model so in this case uh, this blog is using a mistral 7 gb you know, 7 billion parameter model so this is made by a, a french company called mistral and then they have created their uh, uh, large language model and they have given this file, uh, they, have, they have made it available open source and this is like what, almost 6 GB file. So it should be able to be, so you can run this in your local laptop if you have at least let's say 16 GB uh, RAM. So this is the model which I'm going to use and to actually run this model, there is another um, project which builds a binary and you can run that binary uh, by giving this model as an input and that will generate this uh, inferencing system which i which that will generate this chat system which i just showed you so that project is this llama.cpp so you basically have to like clone it and build it and essentially create um, create the binary and then eventually um, so that is uh, step two. So the step one is to actually download this file, this model file. And step two is you clone and build this um, repository. And then essentially you have to uh, run this command. So this main binary, which you created after this uh, make command, and then you give this model as an input uh, with certain parameters. So let me try that again. So I have my command ready here and this is the path, my local uh, path to that model file. And once I run it, I will see several things here. So 
So here it's talking about uh, the weights which is which it is loading. And then there are certain info about the model itself. So there is this general architecture, which is the Llama architecture. So the Llama model was first published by uh, Meta's AI team, and they have a certain architecture. And this Mistral model, that is based on the same Llama architecture. It's not the same model itself, but the same architecture. And you take that architecture and train on top of it, and then you can have your own separate model weights. So this is the context length and uh, embedding length, uh, block count. There are various other uh, parameters here. Uh, another parameter is yeah, n vocab, so number of vocabulary. So it's 32,000, which probably means that yeah, there are like total 32,000 uh, words which it covers, like which it knows at least in English. And here yeah, number of layers, so the number of layers in a in the corresponding neural network the model type it has 7 billion uh, weights and model size as we saw it's uh, 5 point something gb okay so now it is ready so we can ask it any question so like uh, explain the transformer architecture behind large language models so in chat gpt the gpt stands for generative pre-trained uh, transformer so the transformer architecture is the key behind any large language model so that's the question i asked and let's see what response it gives the transformer architecture is a type of neural network architecture that has been widely used in nlp tasks including large language models yeah it is it was introduced in this attention is all you need paper in 2017 and yeah it gives a decent answer to this so in some cases it can give uh, answer which are on par with chargeability but yeah many complex cases it may not perform uh, that well and it also takes a bit longer but it might also depend on what kind of hardware you have okay so this is how you can run your own uh, local llm from scratch and feel free to comment uh, if you want me to make more AI related videos like this.